The question that I'm, I'm asking is, they were at cruising altitude, right? They're over yep. in Nebraska, Colorado, going from, from uh, Boston to Salt Lake City. So they're up high. There are okay. thunderstorms that reach to cruising altitude. What, in mid-30s, uh, 30,000 feet? 37,000 feet, yeah. but those thunderstorm cores can go up to 60, 65,000 feet wow. above the surface. So you can run into a rain core. What I don't understand is that those airplanes are equipped with their own radar systems, and they would normally not approach a cell of that nature. They would normally request a heading change with air traffic control uh, to avoid. It's called circumnavigate. They will circumnavigate around those And cells. that radar is actually in the, the cone in the of the cone, aircraft. Yeah. And uh, of course, it was damaged, I would imagine, by the, the hail of that, uh, that, that thunderstorm. It's very impressive. Okay, friends, speaking of thunderstorms, we have our own little severe bit of uh, weather going on right now in the Treasure Valley. National Weather Service, courtesy of that thunderstorm you see there in the distance, has just issued a severe thunderstorm warning that is in effect for Boise. It is in effect until 430. It has already generated 63 mile an hour winds at the airport, and this thunderstorm that we have moving up from the south has the potential of generating wind gusts of 70 miles per hour. It is this cell that you see right here and already on its heels there's yet another little piece of energy that's developing over to the south of the airport that's working its way to the north so the atmosphere is going very unstable right now and as i zoom in with the doppler radar this is that thunderstorm cell so it's now clearing downtown boise but it looks like it's approaching the foothills and it's just going to be skirting across uh, looks like garden city out towards the far west end of eagle and Meridian. So this again is a very strong, dangerous thunderstorm. Please be sure and wait indoors. It is a fast mover because the air is so dry here at the surface. Any rain that does fall is probably going to be evaporating quite a bit, which generates some very strong gusty winds. 95 degrees has been the high so far today. The average high for this time of the year is 92. Get ready because we're going to be seeing even hotter temperatures over the next couple of days. One thing for sure, and that is that the temperatures have dropped very rapidly at the Boise Airport courtesy of that thunderstorm. It's now down to 82. Nampa is still at 91. Caldwell 93. Mountain Home 94. And McCall right now is at 77 degrees. So what's causing this is a little bit of tropical moisture working its way up from the south. There's an area of low pressure that's spinning off the coast and that has put us into this hot southerly flow. Those hot temperatures are going to continue to be pumped up from the south right across the Treasure Valley and across the Gem State over the next 24 to 48 hours. And with that, with a little bit of moisture every now and then, we can see the heating of the day generating some of these scattered showers and storms. So here's the future cast, the way it looks through the day tomorrow, mostly sunny conditions, but there you can see some of that moisture trying to work its way up from the south. Maybe a little heating of the day action, a couple of isolated thunderstorms are possible again late afternoon tomorrow and then on Wednesday still a little bit of that tropical moisture working its way up from the south can generate a few afternoon thunderstorms but the big thing you're going to notice is man it's going to be hot the high temperature tomorrow Wednesday and Thursday will be approaching the century mark courtesy of that hot dry southerly flow then we get a nice push of cooler air that comes in here on Friday and Saturday temperatures will drop back down into the 80s and it's going to be sunny and beautiful Beautiful this weekend. The mountains are going to be seeing a scattering of afternoon thunderstorms tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, with clearing skies Friday. Beautiful weather on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Very nice weekend on tap up in the mountains with highs in the 70s. So we'll continue to monitor the progress of any of these strong thunderstorms. But if you get one of those uh, and it moves over your neighborhood, not a good time to go out for a walk with the dogs or letting the kids go out and play. Wait for the storm to pass and things will settle down. So I picked a bad afternoon to leave my windows cracked in the parking lot. I think you're okay because the core of the rain is just north of the station. Okay. But go check it. <laughs> give me the keys. After, I'll go check after it. After this newscast <laughs> is over, I'm running out of the parking lot. Okay. Liggety split. Thanks, Roland. You bet.